So, what can I do you for? Ah, I got it. You came to apologize for all the trouble you're causing, didn't you? Oh, lighten up, kid. When I told your girlfriends here I was gonna hike up the rent on your place, I wasn't serious about it. Jeez. There is something I have to ask you. Wow, you're polite when it suits you. You're in cahoots with an individual who goes by the name of F.B. There isn't any point in denying it. I saw you send the 5100 off to the airport myself. Look, we don't want any trouble, okay? A meeting with F.B., that's all we ask of you. Please, Mr. Braun, how can we locate her? Couldn't keep your trap shut, I am for. <sighs> that was the secret code name given to me by F.B. Nobody else knew about it, just me and her. But that would mean... How's it even possible? Any idea why Okabe calls me Mr. Braun? You sell Braun tube TVs. You know, CRTs. Right you are, girl. And who invented those tubes? F... B... Ferdinand Braun, of course! <laughs> no, you can't be. You're a man. I never once told you I was a woman, did I? Let's take this someplace else. Nice sleeping. They're always building. Can't leave well enough alone, can they? And you're really... F.B.? Yeah. But the message is... they were so... So... motherly, right? I did it to fool you, M4. Guess it did a good job, huh? You weren't the only one. Hell, that's my M.O. I tailor everyone's messages according to who they need to hear from the most. But of course, sure doesn't hurt any that the lonely ones tend to be pretty naive. Why did you end up cutting off contact with Moeka? She outlived her usefulness the moment she put the IBN into that coin locker for me. So I cut her loose. That's why we do all of our recruiting through text messaging. Lonely people do what you tell them to. Then later, they disappear without a trace. Nobody ever cares enough to ask what happened to them once they're gone. I can't believe that you're nothing more than a CERN dog. Woof, woof. Damn it, Mr. Braun! Suzaha wouldn't have wanted this. She opened her door to you. This is how you honor her memory? Shut up. You don't get to shame me like that. Where do you get off dragging her name into this? This has nothing to do with Suzuha. Yes, it does! What do you know, you coddled little shit? <laughs> How many winter nights you spent huddled up in some culvert? The concrete was freezing. Hurt your bones, it was so cold. I was just a kid. Three, four days straight, I wouldn't eat. When I'd lay down to sleep, they'd come running. Well, the rats, of course. They'd gnaw at me, thinking I was dead. <laughs> I ain't made of stone. Someone threw a rope down to me. I grabbed the hell on. Knew I'd never get a chance like that again. I've had to do some terrible things along the way. But hey, nothing in this world is free, right? Eventually, you come to realize you're not climbing a rope. You're dangling from a noose, kicking. And cutting yourself loose just isn't a choice. That's when your old pal FB is there for you. She wasn't gonna get out of this alive either way, you know. Traitor or not, the girl outlived her usefulness. You're wrong about me being a dog. 
Nah, I'm a Judas goat, leading the lambs to the slaughter. You know, I thought about making a run for it. But that's no life for a kid, growing up on the lamb. I didn't want to get my girl mixed up in this shit. But I failed. And failure gets punished. If I try to skip town, though, then they'll kill her. There's only one way out. One way that guarantees they'll leave Nye alone. <sighs> only thing I gotta do is die. Where? Okay. 